Hi everyone, welcome to the best of CAT series from IMS. Let's have a look at the next question from sequence and series. Again as usual, do not forget to solve the replica question also. Now this was one of my favorite questions from CAT, last few recent CATs. You know, let's have a look at why it was favorite, why I think that it could have been small, solved by a much smarter approach. Let's look at the question. They are told us that x, y, z are three positive real numbers in a GP where x is less than y is less than z. Now, and they have told us something about 5x, 16y and 12z are in uh, AP. Then the common ratio of the GP is what? That means we want to find R, the common ratio. Now, x, y, z are three terms and I want to find the common ratio. Now, whenever there are three terms in AP, uh, sorry, GP, you know, it has been mentioned to you a lot of times, you must have definitely read it somewhere or the other, that take the three terms as the middle term as A, the next term as AR and the previous term as A upon R, right? So, these should be your three terms, A upon R, A and AR. So, these, this is the values you could take for X, Y and Z. Let us leave it over there. What have they said? They have said 5X, 16Y and 12Z are in AP. So, when three terms are in AP, what do we know? The first term plus last term will be twice of the middle term. That means 5X plus 12Z will be equal to 2 times 16y. Replace x, y, z with all with a and r. So, x is a upon r. So, we will get 5 into a upon r plus 12 into a r is equal to 2 into 16 into a. Now, you can see we can take a common on both the sides and a will cut out. So, I will be left with 5 upon r plus 12 r is equal to 32. Make a quadratic out of this. What will you get? You will get 12 r square minus 32r plus 5 is 0. Very easy factors. Factors are 30 and 2. So, what will you get? r will be 30 divided by 12 or r will be 2 divided by 12. Now, both the values for r are possible 6 by 5, uh, sorry, that will be 6 5s and 6 2s are 5 by 2 or 1 by 6. Which value do I take? And both of them are there in the options also. 1 by 6 is also there in the option and 5 by 2 is also there in the option. What do I do? Now, this is where a lot of students made a mistake and you know, they reached till here and also could not mark an answer for this question. You forgot to read this part. X was less than Y was less than Z, which means it was an increasing AP, right? A GP, sorry. It was an increasing GP. If it's an increasing GP, R has to be greater than 1. Because it is an increasing GP, R has to be greater than 1 and therefore R had to be 5 upon 2 which was the second option. Now, in fact, from here comes my next method. So, let us have a look at the second approach for which I thought that this question could have been small, solved very, very smartly. So, let us have a look at this question again. Now, since I know that X is less than Y is less than Z and I know R has to be greater than 1, two options are eliminated immediately. 1 by 6 is eliminated, 3 by 6 is eliminated. Two options are directly gone. Now, both the remaining options have a denominator 2. That is, r is either 5 by 2 or r is 3 by 2. Now, since I already know that r is 5 by 2 from the previous method, I am going to just show you by taking r as 3 by 2 and see what happens. So, if you took r as 3 by 2 and let us assume any values you like for x. So, if you assume a value for x, you will get some value for y and z. So, the easiest value to assume for x would be 4. If x is 4, what will be y? It will be 4 into r. So, what is 4 into 3 upon 2? Think a little bit. 12 divided by 2 6. So, if x is 4, y would be 6 and 6 into 3 by 2 would be 9. So, z would be 9. So, assuming x as 4, I have got y as 6 and z as 9. Does it satisfy this condition that 5x, 12y and 6, uh, sorry, 5x, 16y and 12z are in the AP? What will be 5x? 5x will be 20. 16y, 16, 6 are, will be 96 and 12z will be 12, 9 are, 108. So, this is not an AP. If it is not an AP, fourth option is not my answer. Three options eliminated, so second option has to be your answer. I know a lot of students are thinking what would come if the second option was taken. So, let us try that. Again, this is not something you should do in the exam. If you eliminated three options, you should mark the fourth option. 
but just taking r as phi by 2 let us think what would happen. So, if I took r as phi by 2 what will I get now again start with the same value of x, x is 4, y would be 10 4 into phi by 2, z would be 25 that is 10 into phi by 2. What would 5x come out to be? 5x would be 20, 16y would be 160 and 12z would be 300. Is this a arithmetic progression? Yes, it is. 20 and 160 difference is 140, 160 and 300 difference is 140. So, this is a arithmetic progression because which means it satisfies a given condition and hence second option is my answer. Very, very interesting question, very interesting way to do the question. If you had realized this method, you could save a lot of time.